Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of our Spain campaign here in Victoria 2 with the historical flavor mod. Our efforts to, uh, you know, reintegrate America into the glorious kingdom of Spain continues. Uh, we're currently trying to puppet Mexico. We've worked quite hard to secure Mexico. Uh, we've started off by sacrificing much needed prestige to cheese the Texans into, well, becoming a part of Mexico again. We then defended the uh, Mexicans against the United States and their quote-unquote manifest memory. Uh, and then we gave up even more prestige and stuff to uh, release the nation of Chiapas so that Mexico could get all their cores. All in the name of allowing them to refute manifest destiny and as a result we don't have to worry about um, any future wars with the Americans. Unless we want to get more involved. But I don't have any major goals regarding that right now. Uh, I will want to think about it when the Civil War happens. And I, I, I don't know, I haven't quite decided what I want yet. As there are multiple potential opportunities, but maybe we do support in... in support an independent confederacy. After all, that strategy worked as Mexico, so surely it will work as the overlords of Mexico as well. Uh, yeah, we're currently invading Mexico. We have been beating down and basically exterminating the armies of Colombia and Mexico. However, we had to focus basically entirely on Mexico, and as a result, um, we neglected the front against Colombia, so we're going to have to reoccupy our lands here. Which sucks, but... Evel. Motion carry is nice. Will that let us... Nah, we still... Well, How the fuck? Okay. Yeah, 30% liberal, 30%... Yeah, I guess... It, yeah, it's the reactionaries that are keeping us back here. Uh, I do hate these kinds of weak-ass raviolis. It's not, not good. Also, yeah, I got zero infamy uh, on the CB. I don't think I ever showed that in the last episode, but yeah, that's a thing. So, yay. Uh, that is one of the reasons I'm doing nationalism and imperialism, so that I can uh, finally start taking some colonial territories without having to pay a billion million infamy. So, that's the general idea at the moment. Seeing as I do need to spend my infamy on something. Then again, it's only like, if I remember my files correctly, it's only like 10 years until um, until an, a certain event regarding Peru will happen that will potentially give us CBs to puppet a decent chunk of the Americas. Um, but I'm pretty sure, I don't, I don't think all, I don't think we, you get CBs against everyone. I think it's a bit random exactly how many CBs you get. I think you get CBs on most of them, but not necessarily everyone, and so I do need to keep that in mind so that I'm ready to um, further incorporate people and things. All right, let's reoccupy these lands, and then I'll push north and focus my efforts on Mexico. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I might push into Africa? There is a part of me that would like to do a bit of casual blobbing in Nigeria, as is tradition. Yeah, well, I've already spared Vietnam, so deciding to conquer them at this point would be stupid. We could also go for China, grab a treaty port. That might actually be what I would do. Hainan would be a very welcome ravioli to the Empire. Um... See, <laughs> I forgot I started with this in my sphere. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. The Dutch will presumably eventually swoop in and, you know, incorporate the place, but... Until then... Also, yeah, I really need to improve my relations with the British. I accidentally... Uh, fuck, are you going to be spooked? Oh, fuck, yeah, oh, jeebus Christ. This p yeah, the French did not like the fact that I accidentally... Um, sat at... Uh, or basically that I was sitting around being mobilized uh, while at peace. Yeah, I don't need to be enemies with the French, so let's try and avoid that, eh? Alright, Mexico becomes a puppet of the Kingdom of Spain. Let's do it. 
And we can recreate a vice royalty of New Spain, he said, and then didn't do. <laughs> I, I still want to buy Belize, and I'm not entirely sure if I'm actually going to be able to do that if I uh, form the vice royalty. I'm also still unsure what exactly will happen to the Mosquito Kingdom, and so I have some uh, file searching to do. Uh, shite, did I just demobilize? I did. I did just demobilize the majority of that army, that sucks. Um, yeah, go there. Yeah, I, I totally forgot about the Haitian Revolution. Uh, big oof. Congo. I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait, Spain is trying to ally me? But I am Spain. Yeah, no, they just have a similar flag. Uh, no, like, no. I don't think that would be smart. Uh, speaking of not smart shit, actually, do I... Do I maybe invade the two Sicilies again? You have a truce with... Orion. Uh, October... Yeah, we might just wait until then, and then have ourselves another invasion, let's see. Yeah, no one's really sparing them, and we still have influence, so we can always intercept it. We might sit on zero infamy for some time. Oh shit. Oh, did I, <laughs> did I forget to actually kill that army? Fuck! Damn, no! Okay, that, hmm. That is actually pretty bad, because I, <laughs> I can't really, um... Oh, no, okay, so we do have some... Yeah, no, we, we should be able to use the Sicilians to do, deal with that. <laughs> oh, God, my nation is, nation is so fucking trash. <laughs> oof, big oof. But yeah, I, I'm going to have to have a look in the files and figure out exactly how the Mosquito events work. Yeah, so I might actually have to give the fuckers some reforms here. Uh, because those rebels... <laughs> those rebels are pretty intense, so... Uh, yeah, I need them to fuck off. Alright, we can do an archaeological museum, because I guess we're doing uh, Egyptian excavations. More importantly, we can do the colonization of Fernando Po. Uh, let's do that. Uh, the king, with sufficient advance notice, prepared a reception for the visitors. The kind of reception only he could prepare. From the outskirts of the town to the palace of the Mo Churchu, the street was lined with two long lights of booby warriors, daubed with red, with rifles and lances and holding buffalo skin shields. They cheered for the Kingdom of Spain. At the end was the aged King Mocha, standing next to his throne made of three trunks. He still looked arrogant and for the reception he had naturally put on his best finery. The two-point full-dress hat of a marine official and an old frock coat, but without the trousers. The monkey skin apron hung from his waist and his right hand he flaunted his staff of command. To his right was Abba Moti, high priest of Boo Booby with his paddle in his hand, emblem of his dignity. To his left, his fort lieutenant, Sas Eubura, the elderly counselor and the king's... Wait, the elderly counselors and the king's 60 wives crowded after him, right? The Spanish flag Mocha had received as a gift waved over the palace door. After two days of conferences and having exchanged the customary gifts and tightened the bonds between the Kingdom of Spain and Mocha, the visitors returned to Santa Isabel, not without the governor having granted the king permission to use gunpowder. The island of uh, Fernando Po has long or has been the stage of numerous colonization attempts by the Spanish and the British. The north of the island is home to its only European settlement, founded by the British as a base of operations to end the slave trade in the Atlantic. Despite that, expansion of the colonization efforts have been largely hampered by, Bubi, by the Booby people, unified in a monarchy under King Boca. After years of isolationism, the kingdom opened, oh, is opening up to Spanish advances and now have... And we now have the means to colonize the island, submitting the natives to the authority of the Spanish king. As is righteous. By the way, do we have... Oh, 
What's that? Philippine in education. Ooh, I want that. Can I get that? Have a mission to civilize. Oh, would you look at that? Land liberty. That's a pretty nice bonus. Yeah. Educated Filipinos. And encourage a bunch of Spanish people to show up. Lovely. I want that. Um, we can create a colony in our lands. Let's do that. Uh, and get a port, get a fort, and a colony. Lovely. Now I wonder how do how does the decision that gave me that little bit of the mainland cradle of civilization? Yeah. Belfar, police. I guess maybe it's an event, or maybe it doesn't show up until later. I don't know. Wait. But why? Why is it still twenty infamy? I got nationalism and imperialism. Shouldn't that have changed something? Oh. I guess I do need to go into the files to check a bunch of shites. So, guess that's what we're going to go do. Alright, so I did have a look at the files, and while I didn't quite understand most of it, because uh, whenever files says and or or, and like if those things mean specific things in file language or coding or whatever, uh, and that's a bit beyond me, but basically... I saw something regarding um, Africa, and so I think basically what the files are saying is that the nationalism and imperialism thing it doesn't actually count for Africa, because if I, sh yeah, if you if you see here, if I were to invade the Kunbain dynasty, uh, I can get that for well, quote unquote, cheap. Well, yeah, cheap, seeing as I would be getting two regions. However, that does not seem to be applying for Africa, and so. Yeah, I don't know. It seems kind of like, not a waste of infamy, but not exactly a thing I would want to prioritize. And it seems like my original plan, which I totally forgot about, sorry about that. <laughs> I was watching this really interesting stream about CK2. Yeah, I don't know. I get, I, I get distracted when I play, or when I record. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, Italy has formed, and they have allied France, and so I sort of don't think this would be the best time to invade Italy to claim Puglia. But, uh, well, the fact that Italy has formed, and the fact that Italy isn't exactly the thickest of Italy's, uh, is still a nice-looking thing, and the fact that the Pope still exists, and is a puppet of France, hopefully can create some tension between the Italians and the French. I could really do with a French alliance, but uh, I, I mean, I, of course, I'm a bit spooked at the moment because obviously the Italians would presumably love to grab uh, Sicilia back. So thank God for the Prussian alliance, as I'm pretty sure that'll spook the Italians and French out of any memes there. Uh, yeah, I did also have a look at the Mosquito thing, and as far as I understand, the the Mosquito Kingdom thing is tied to culture, not nation, and so uh, I'm pretty sure the Vice Royalty of, um, of New Spain is going to be Mexican in culture, and so I think I can safely form it without there being any issues. I do want to buy Belize before I do that, and my relations still need some work, but we are getting pretty darn close. Uh, I'm, I doubt I'm going to be able to get an alliance simply because of Splendid Isolation and so I'm just going to have to take that risk but uh, having being great power and having good relations basically should mostly guarantee us getting that and so I'm pretty confident basically though what I'm currently thinking is how about we secure Vietnam wouldn't that just be grand I could of course invade China and grab myself a treaty port, but I mean, I already have some territories here, don't I? And yeah, fucking Zulu is getting annexed by. Um, sorry, I gotta adjust my microphone volume. I, I couldn't hear myself talk when um, I was talking. But yeah, uh, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna take the infamy hit, kick the Vietnamese out of our sphere, and then we're gonna nom them and incorporate them. We will let them feel our hot, beautiful love. And it will be glorious. 
so let's start shipping troops over to Vietnam. Let's see, I am... yeah, that's the uh, transport navy, good, good, good. Yeah, basically, we're, we're invading uh, Vietnam, because, like, it's gonna be, like, as you can see, uh, I, I guess I can show you. I can show you my thinking, my brain, my memes. Uh, do we need influence? Not really. Let's not waste any memes on that. Belgium? Since when did our alliance fall apart? I don't know. But yeah, uh, oh, I need to do the thing where I remove relations. Oh, here we are. Now we can begin to establish a casual protectorate. And we will. Uh, I am also realizing I'm reaching quite significant levels of militancy, and so I don't think it would be intelligent of me to ditch or to take the entire army that I have stationed in America off America. So actually what we're going to do is take uh fuck. Yeah, so you no shift click, thank you. And then three boats and then three artillery and then to Europe. And these artillery combined with some mobilized forces. I still hate having to use mobilized forces, but I just don't have enough forces in general. I need to prioritize recruiting uh, infantry. Um, simply because I, you know, if, if a thick war happens that I really need to give a shit about, then, um, then I can't afford to have weak armies. Am I going to get this for free again? Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me at this rate. Um, I'll see, I need to safeguard uh, Morocco. The French had a bit of an opening here to sneak in, and they used it. And I did not get... Men vad fan da du? Hva kan du ikke fucking vietnameser? Nå må dere ta med ro her. Helvetes kukfitte drit faen. What, Prussia? What are you doing these days? You're invading Austria. Could you maybe not invade Austria? Some weak-ass ravioli you got there, bruv. Honestly, lad. Ooh. You are at war with Italy. See, this is... <laughs> this is such shit timing, though. Oh, no, 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 no never mind. Uh, you're allied with Italy. Nah, nah, fuck that, then. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna fight... Well... Maybe that was a mistake, actually. Hey, Britain! Hey! <laughs> he actually will give me an alliance, but can I keep that alliance? Uh, nah, it's just gonna... S ah, fuck, and there goes my relation. Nay! So there is a jävla tater. Okay, well, I guess that didn't work out. Um, shite! Okay. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna focus on Vietnam then. Oh. Is that so? A free sea beyond the Dutch. Uh, I mean, do they have friends at the moment? They do. What? How? What is <laughs> How are you? <laughs> no, that's illegal. What the fuck are you allied with the British? My relations have gotten shit upon because they they asked me for an alliance, but then I had to say no. Are you gonna drop that? What? No 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 no. All right. So basically, at this point, I'm just sitting and chilling in uh, Cedar Rapids. No, uh, <laughs> I'm chilling in uh, southern Italy because they are currently plotting a massive revolt against me because militancy has gotten quite high, but the fuckers still don't want to give me social reforms, and so I'm going to drag it on a bit more, I dare say. But this is an opportunity to be sure. Um... 
I guess those negative relations we got from accidentally mobilizing for too long could be good because if I can ally the British and then call them into the war against the Dutch or the Vietnamese, yeah, I, yeah, never mind. I wouldn't be able to call them into the war with the Dutch, would I? But I can call them into the war with the Vietnamese, and then I can invade the Dutch during that war, and that um, would let me meme them. No idea how the. I guess maybe they are exempt from it or something because they're the lowlands. I'm not sure how that works. How long is the CB here going to last for, anyways? 11th of November. Okay, well, yeah, we need to get this going then. Ready? Fucking die, rebels! Yeah, that's right, Kingdom of Italy. Killing your countrymen. As is righteous. Oh, for fuck's sake! Ah, well, there goes that plan. Farm? Okay. I guess the British decided to get their own war going with Vietnam. Fuck! <laughs> it was a free CB! I wanted that. I even got the UK to, you know, potentially accept an alliance, but no. But no. Fun! Yeah, my... My, um... My CB is about to run out as well, so I guess we just need to declare that war. Call in... Yeah, call in everyone. Why not? It's not like it hurts me. And the Belgians did well last time, so... Right, yeah, so the Italians have been beaten. Uh, I think I will actually mobilize for this war. I will try to not use all mobilized brigades and disband the ones not needed. I'm not sure if that actually impacts the overall um, meme of the whole thing, but um, whatever. Morocco, yes, let us indeed make sure the French are gone once and for all. It is not for them to do anything, to be honest. Uh, and then once, yeah, here we are, get some brigades. Cardis, sure, we can gather in Cardis. That's tolerable. And then we will meme our way over to Asia and secure some blessed Vietnam for the glory of Spain. Is infamy finally? No, no, infamy still going up. Well, that's, I mean, uh, militancy. Who's next, by the way? Jacobins. Yeah, I, I, I de <laughs> I'm definitely going to need a, um, an army stationed in, um, in Spain itself to deal with the, uh, the incoming issues here. Hey, I. Uh, now you want to ally me, Germany? Well, fuck you. Go f fuck yourself. Yeah, a part of me also wanted to try and use the Germans against the Dutch to get my CB, but of course now my CB is no longer valid, and so... We're just going to... Oh, fuck. Okay. Hey, boats, are you... Are you gonna get... <laughs> Can we get here in time? Because I'm kind of getting shit upon by the Vietnamese. I am... I am actually getting shit upon. Run. Jesus Christ, man, run. Yeah, that's okay. Surely we are a stronger empire than this. Getting memed by the local natives. This is no good. Yeah, that's a pretty big oof. And the economy is trash, but I need to fund the army, you know? Here comes the... <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, the French are... What are they doing? Oh fuck! The French are take. Oh fuck! Okay, so the French are trying to take Cochin China. Yeah, but that's not acceptable. So, how about you fuck off, France? Uh, Vietnam is mine. So go fuck yourself, eh? Fucking liberals! Oh wow, they're actually kind of killing me. Okay, well I technically won that. Well, good, 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 good meme, good meme. 
guess I lost some militancy. Okay, so there we are. Annex Vietnam. Uh, that was pretty straightforward, and I guess that means the French are rip. Yeah, the French war is gone. I mean, obviously, there's no there's no Vietnam anymore, and so it would have surprised me if the uh, the French were still doing anything. Sorry, France. <laughs> I know you tried hard to occupy shit, but uh, should have sent more dudes. To be perfectly honest. He had more unit. Well, I don't know. He only had like 9k in the beginning. I, I don't think. Yeah, France didn't work too hard to secure these territories. So, yeah. That is. That is something. Spanish Indochina. How about that? Uh, right. And now we are getting closer to the whole event chain that is going to give me CBs against the Latin Americans. So that's a thing. I also need to boost my relations with the British so we can do the whole <sighs> Belize purchase. Oh man, I'm tired. Yeah, I think I win in the episode. Go sleep a bit. You know, good for you from time to time to sleep. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode and until next time, bye.